Who would like to be next? <clears throat> Mr. Tracy. Good morning, gentlemen. Glorious morning. Jim Tracy, and his Council for Spread and Materials. Uh, I note in the correspondence package for today's uh, meeting with some pleasure that a number of other groups and organizations have picked up my previous suggestion to you about incorporating into your locally approved shoreline management plan the provisions of substitute Senate Bill 5451, which would, as I think as I characterized it last time, take this non-conforming <coughs> issue off the table, out of the mix for you as, uh, as you go forward with your uh, lovely approved Shoreline Master Program. I want to reiterate my suggestion that, in fact, what you really should do is apply that 5451 language to all existing legal and vested uses. Again, for the same reason. There's nothing in terms of compliance with the Shoreline Management Act that's affected by that. But what it does do is take a whole bunch of issues off the table, people who are compelled by your current the content of your plan to take you through appeals and judicial review. I previously outlined the reasons why I think it's clear you're going to lose that judicial review. That's, that's the county, the county wants to do that. They certainly can do that. You put these parties to their proof. I just think that from the standpoint of, of the, the peace of mind of the community and the kind of coming together with some sort of consensus around this document that the best result is for the board to, to do just that. Take that principle of substitute Senate Bill 51, 54, 51, and apply it to all existing legal and vested uses. <clears throat> Secondly, in the record this morning, uh, I want to call your attention to a letter by Mr. Soltz of Cal Portland Cement, who has raised in the record issues that I have previously raised and this is the same general school of thought that I'm, I'm pursuing here. Why are we pursuing issues that are going to be losers for Jefferson County based on the statute, based on the case law, based on Department of Ecology's existing instructions to you regarding salmon net pens when you have prohibited other types of water dependent uses? I have urged you in my previous comments, Mr. Schultz, uh, urged you in his comments, to return to the recommendation of the Planning Commission and your staff. Again, it will take this issue off the table, it removes my company's interest in having to go forward with any kind of uh, shoreline appeal. Uh, but again, in the county's financial interest, it's, uh, and it's uh, in interest in having the best possible uh, shoreline master program that's as closely related as possible to the statute and the guidelines and the Department of Ecology. Department of Ecology uh, suggestions. Uh, I hope you will follow through. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat>